Robson. Well, that certainly looked like uh, a, a potential infringement from my perspective. Um, Dan? D uh, the reality is there's been two calls that potentially could have been called on the Swindon Wildcats. And there's another late hit here. And another hit in the middle. And Miss Cogleta has not called a thing as yet. And uh, we've had, well, we've got 39 seconds of, of, of a power play that up to this point hasn't seen the Twindle Wildcats get set up as they would like to have done. Phantom scored a short-handed goal last night. Uh, I have to say to you that the Wildcats are a completely different proposition. What a finish! That is a terrific feed into the low slot. And I think that's Tom's Ruckets with the pub. James Ferrara. Oh, that's a fantastic finish! Here's the replay. Ferrara slips into the slot. Finishes low, low into the corner of Rennie Mars' goal. What a finish. Phantoms tied up at one. Yeah, so just there we saw Padalek. He trapped the puck inside our own D zone, just held it nicely. Took a moment to look up, saw Jimmy surging through the middle. Pinpoint pass to Ferrara. Out to Norton. Norton thinks wisely. Goes. Had Weldon loose in front. Pucks loose in front. Pinball. Shot! Jimmy Ferrara. Everything goes loose. Just the same as had it before. You see it now. Pucks in front. He gets trapped under what looks like Whitfield. Everyone's looking. Ferrara's the only one who actually sees it. And it's played round the boards behind Rennie Mars goal. That should be brought under control by the Swindon Wildcats. It is paid there from Bullis to Adam Hardy. Bullis charges in on. What a save! Wow! That is an absolutely top draw save from Jordan Marr. Oh, just picking up there where Wildcats win. They've now got a break. It's two on one, two on two. Shot and it's goal. Sam Harding was left all alone. It was a mistake in the neutral zone by the Phantoms. And uh, before you know it, Harding's capitalised. So there we can see one of the Phantoms' D-men brought down. Harding there had a shot. Eight, seven minutes and 40 seconds of, of the period gone. Phantoms do keep it in on that occasion. It's bouncing. Oh, and there's... Uh, just having a look there. I'm, is it Susters and Costal? It's certainly Susters. Nothing for me. Uh, yeah, so Costal very upset, but I'm not sure that uh, Susters got too near the netminder on that occasion. Stopped in the zone and goes round the back to Jones again. Tripping call now against Phantoms. That'll be Tom Norton going for tripping. And the Phantoms on the penalty kill for two for two minutes of the last two and a half minutes. Scott Robson holding it up nicely. He's got Bugliss in support. There are three Wildcats, two Phantoms. Dina Kulietta now. Been waiting long enough, they're gonna call it. So, it's being taken out. We're gonna watch now. So, we've got a penalty coming. We'll see who it's against. I believe it's a penalty. Face off in the Phantom Zone, the whistle's gone. Will Weldon there, just maybe needing to learn to stop. So, Scott Robson. Looks like Scott Robson's been called. Is this going to be a call for delay of game? Timeout Wildcats, 1.47 remaining. To the other 71, Eddie Bebris down the left wing. Whitfield goes into the slot. Bebris, great break. Saved by Jordan Marr. Stepanek turns. Chance. Saved by Rennie Marr. Phantoms come again. Billing. Chance. Robson. Yes! Glenn Billing scores the overtime winner for the Phantoms. 
Phantoms and their fans overjoyed. Wildcats and their fans absolutely broken. The fact that both teams have come away with at least a point is thoroughly deserved.